Hey everyone, my name is Bianca Bombshell and thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this fun and flirty pinup girl updo with the use of bobby pins, hairspray, and a bandana. I also recommend that you start this look with pre-curled hair and I do have a tutorial on how to do that using vintage hot rollers and the link's just right at the bottom of the screen. All right, so starting with the first portion of your hair, what you're gonna to wanna to do is section it off. So just take the front part where your bangs would be if you have them. And this would work on short bangs too, just depending on how long the bangs are. So now with your hair to just one side, you wanna just make a clean part. I just use the tip of a bobby pin. Okay, and then at the back of that part, what you wanna do is just carry it on and go right down behind your ear. And then you also want to just take that hair and toss it backwards. So now you should have a relatively clean part right there. So you want to do the same thing on this side now. Just carrying on from here, just go down behind the ear. And that's okay, but all that loose hair there, I'm not worried about that. All right, so now what you wanna do is just gather all this loose hair at the back that doesn't belong at the front and just toss it into a hair tie really quickly. So then what you wanna do is you wanna take this portion here, the very top, and we're just gonna roll it. So you wanna make sure it's got a good curl to it. So I'll just pre-curl this one. Now this curl is gonna come up under, so you wanna do the curl the same way. So you wanna roll it in underneath and then towards your head. And then just let that sit for a quick second. And now that you have a little bit of a curl, what you wanna do is just go underneath like this and then roll towards yourself. Just keep going. We go and then once you get to the top of your head just tuck it down like that grab one of your bobby pins and then just give it a quick pin just like that so it's gonna hold the roll right on top of your head so just give that a quick spray with some of your hairspray and then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to do with the back portion of your hair so just take the hair tie out now what I'll do is I'll just really carefully Brush it just gently, and same on this side. Now all of this is gonna go underneath my bandana, so I'm just gonna take my hair at the back and just twist it. And I'm really careful to keep this hair as flat as possible on my head. So just like that. So then what I'll do is I'll grab some of my larger bobby pins and I will secure the bun on my head. You can also use a hair tie too, depending on the thickness of your hair. That bobby pin doesn't want to come out and play. All right, so now I'm just going into the bun. Just like that. And I'm probably going to use just a few more bobby pins to keep it tight. Okay, so now all my hair is in a nice bun in the back of my head. So what you're going to want to do is just spray the back just to keep everything in check. Okay, for instance, after the bandana, you just take your bandana of choice. Today I'm going to wear this pink one. And you're going to want to fold it over just like this. And then you take the side with the fold, and then you put that against your head, like that. So you have the two folds coming up, and then the main fold, or the main guy in the middle just coming forward like this. So now you want to take the sides here and just tuck them into this piece that you're holding. And the same on this side, just tuck it into that piece. Then you can come up behind and kind of do that. Now this one, because I have a roll, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just very carefully tie it in behind my roll. Now because I'm redoing the roll, it's okay if, it's, if it gets a little caught and messy. So then I'm gonna take this extra fabric and I'm just gonna tuck it underneath 
the bandana. And then I'm going to just make it nice and tight, just like that. So now what you want to do is you want to secure your bandana so it's not moving around on you. So grab all the hair. And then just underneath your ear is going to be the best place to do this one is up, making sure that you're crossing over your hair when you pin it in. Same thing on this one, just grab all the hair. Grab another bobby pin, preferably the longest ones that you can find, up under the ear and over like that. Okay, now we style the sides. So what you want to do is you want to take the hair and put it into two. Just give it a really quick curl just to make sure it's going to hold the, the pin curl nicely on your head. And the same thing with this one. You can roll them together. It really doesn't matter if you roll them separately like I just did. Okay, so we'll just do this side together just to show you in a moment. Just like that. Hold that just for a second. So now I've got a couple molded curls there. So what you want to do is taking that two sections that we made, you want to make a pin curl. So how you do that is just make sure the hair is nice and neat. And this one, I'm going to curl it up that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the hair, starting at the bottom. So now I've got it. So I've got the ends coming out there. Just try to hold on to them while you roll the roll towards yourself. Now this one, I don't like to put my thumb inside. What I like to do is just carefully hold it like I am and then bring it up towards the head. So once it's right near your head, just like this, you have a nice little curl there. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab one of your smaller bobby pins and then come in from underneath and try and pin the inside portion that your hair is holding. And you can never let go until you know that your curl is tight. So I've just right now, I just have the one bobby pin holding that. So I'm gonna do just one more just to make sure it's in there really good. Okay, so now for the second one, you just wanna give another quick brush. And then this one, I'm gonna go the opposite way. So I'm gonna curl it like that and then bring it towards myself very carefully with the ends. These pin curls aren't very thick so you really want to be careful that you're tucking the ends in and tucking any little flyaways that you may get with these. All right, so which way am I going here? <laughs> I think I'm going this way. Yeah, why not? And just keep going. So now this one's going to be right near your ear. So you just have to carefully pin that down just so it doesn't look really, really puffy. So just coming in from behind, going up underneath the curl, trying to get it in there and holding on to the center part that your finger was holding on to. Okay, so now you have two curls. I've got them both going in this direction, but you can really go the other way or whichever direction of the curl that you want. So I'm just going to put in one more bobby pin just to keep it secure from the other side. And then this little bit of hair, I'm just going to tuck it under my bandana and behind my ear and then under the bandana. So now you just want to spray that. And then we're going to do it on this side pretty much the same thing. This curl here, you want to just curl it. And this will come with practice. When I first started, it was difficult for me to do this, but if you just play around and make sure you have hairspray and bobby pins, you should be okay. All right, so now that I have the curl, I'm going to get my fingers out of there and then keep rolling it towards my head like this. And once you get up to the top, and don't let go of that roll. You want to grab your pins again. And then I'm going to come in from the top and go underneath. 
There we go. And I am going to need another bobby pin. I can feel that for this one. So I'm going to go up under there. I'm going to try and keep them as, as hidden as possible, but that's not, it's not always easy with this style. So I'm just going to put that piece down. Okay, so now for this last one, we're just going to do the same thing. Just want to roll it again up towards yourself, carefully tucking the ends in there. I want to keep coming like this up towards. And then once you get to your head, just carefully hold it down like this. Grab all your extra hair. And you want to grab a couple more of your bobby pins. And you're going to come in from the top now. Or really whatever angle works for you, but from there I'm going to go to the top and then I'm going to come up from underneath here just to hold that piece down. Okay, so there we go. So now what I want to do is just give it a quick spray and then we'll redo our front curl. Alrighty, so now we're going to redo the front curl. So just take out the front bobby pin that you put in. Right like that, nice and carefully. And I always like to do this one last because it's often going to be the most noticeable one on your face. So I'll just give this another quick curl just because I like to make sure it's really nice and curly at the tips. That's the best way it's going to hold. Okay. So then you have a nice curl. Now this one, what you want to do, I'm going to do a little bit of spray right here just to keep all the flyaways together. Okay, now this roll, we're going to do it the same way we had it set the first time, so in towards our head, just like this, we're rolling very carefully, and then once you get to your head, just like this, I like to have this curl kind of going off to the side a little bit, so you want to just kind of let it, let it just fall there. And then what you want to do is you want to take one of your bobby pins and then just go right at the base, right where your finger is, and that's where you tuck the pin, just right up there. So now this is the part that you're going to want to play around with and perfect and make really nice. You can use as many bobby pins as needed, but I'm probably only going to use just a few here. So now what you can do is you can stick your fingers right in the roll and kind of stretch it out and mold it around. I don't like my rolls to be open like that, so you can see all the way through. So what I do is I take a bobby pin, and then I'll take the back of the roll, and I'll just carefully kind of fan it down, kind of like a slinky, hiding that bobby pin in there. And then you want to spray, you want to spray that portion that you just tucked down, Oops. and then come up on this side. And then you give that another spray. All right, so that's the style.